Hello everybody, it's the Farm Sim Guy here, hope you're all doing well. Welcome to Chellington Valley. Today we are looking at mods. Now, when I say mods, I don't mean tractors and trailers and, and harvesters and things like that. This is not about vehicle mods. This is about the 25 mods that I religiously install every time I start a new game save. And they are you know, fundamental to me in terms of giving me the flexibility and opening up options uh, whilst playing the game. They're all brilliant. I will say from the start, though, they are all PC mods. These are predominantly used scripts uh, to work. So unfortunately, console guys, I'm sorry. Um, Microsoft and uh, Sony don't allow scripts on PlayStation and Xbox. So uh, unfortunately, uh, we do have that flexibility on PC, so it does give us the benefit. Don't get mad with giants. It's not their fault. Don't get mad with the modders. It's not their fault. It's locked down by the manufacturer. So sorry about that, but maybe this video will entice you to want to maybe upgrade to a PC in the future. So without further ado, I've got 25 of them. So I'm gonna to have to jump into this pretty quickly or we'll have an hour long video and we don't want that. So here we go, let's look at the mods. So the first one I wanna talk about is the additional game setting mod. Uh, this came out very recently. It allows you to, um, again, play with some of the settings in the game. Um, Everything from adjusting the date, uh, removing the crosshair, turning the HUD off, uh, switching the, the clock to 24 hour clock, um, skipping uh, the approval of mods on the, on the auto start of a game. Um, you can actually turn off basic machines in the shop as well. So if you only want to see modded vehicles, you can turn off the basic machines in the shop. Customer lighting is a huge one. It'll basically go and look at lighting from any other maps you've got in your mod folder and apply that to those if you want to. So there we go, you know, uh, Earl and Grat, um, you can see it just changing in the background behind the uh, behind the HUD here. Um, depth of field, brightness, so many different things. Vehicle camera smoothness and player camera smoothness are really nice as well, especially if you're a content creator and you're wanting to uh, do some nice cinematic shots and things like that. So really, really nice mod, really understated mod, but it just gives you lots of flexibility and control. So there you go. First one, additional game settings. The second mod I wanna talk about today is adjustable header height for harvesters. Now this again, a very simple mod. Um, all it does is allow you to adjust very subtly the height of your uh, header on your combine. Um, some of them, some of the combine uh, headers in game, uh, when you hook them up, especially the lizard ones, tend to sometimes not work perfectly and have be too low down or lift the front wheels up. So this gives you the flexibility to adjust that header holding the right button on your mouse down and sliding backwards and forwards. Uh, you can adjust your header height control. Um, very handy and very easy to use mod. The third mod is Animal Pen Extension. This is a fantastic mod. It's a global company's mod. Uh, and basically it allows you to add water to any troughs uh, in your animal pens. Uh, a great little mod. Uh, it allows you to adjust the position of it as well, move things around. You can even change the color of it if you want. And once you're done and you've bought your animals, you quite simply walk up to it, press the R button, and there you go, fresh running water. Very handy. Now the next mod we're going to talk about today is auto drive. Now I think enough has been said about auto drive on the channel recently and I have done some tutorials which I'll link in the top corner now. But uh, basically auto drive is a road network that allows you to automate some of the tasks of driving from place to place uh, on your farm and around your map and allows you to um, unload vehicles, um, take corn from combines and fields and get it loaded into silos and things like that. So um, an absolutely brilliant mod. Um, on the face of it, quite daunting if you look at it and you don't know how to use it, but check out my tutorial and uh, take it from there. Uh, honestly, it will change the way you play the game. So that is auto drive. So the next mod we're gonna look at today is called Bulk Buy. This is a super simple mod and basically allows you to buy more than one pallet at once. Simple as that, but let's be honest, not very often we only need one pallet. So um, this allows you to buy uh, multiple pallets all the way up to 10 in one go uh, rather than having to click in and buy them individually 10 times. So great little mod, bulk buy. So now we're going to go from one of the most basic mods in game to one of the most technical and that is course play. Now I think everybody now knows what course play is but if you don't uh, course play is a tool that allows you to create automated paths around your field um, with different vehicles uh, to allow you to let a tractor run in a field um, without having to drive it manually. 
Um, a very helpful tool if you want to be running two or three fields at once or there's certain tasks you don't like doing. Um, course play can come to the rescue. It's fantastic for harvest time when you want to run a combine but also want to unload your, unload your trailers as well. So, um, like I said, um, everybody knows and loves course play. Now the next mod is a very handy little mod to have in your inventory. Now we all know that you can create fields using a plow. Well, Cultivator Create Fields allows you to create fields with a cultivator. And it's as simple as hitting the Y button, uh, and then you lower down your cultivator, and there you go. Simple as that. Create fields with a cultivator. The next mod is one I swear by and I use all the time. Incredibly helpful tool to have if you are a, uh, a content creator as well, and that is easy development commands. Uh, lots of options in here um, from setting the field of view angle um, so you can get uh, rather nice screenshots uh, to allowing you to fly around the map and zoom about again to allow yourself to uh, create rather nice video footage. In addition to that, you've got lots of options here to set the amount, set the fruit that you want in a field. So for example, field one here, uh, it, was a, it was a sown field here, but if we can change the growth state here and hit the tick button, if we go back now and turn around, we've got a ready to harvest uh, field of corn. So very handy to have, very handy to have indeed. So uh, easy developer controls, brilliant, brilliant mod, does lots and lots of stuff that I've not talked about here, but well worth going to check out. The next mod we're going to talk about is the Enhanced Vehicle mod. Now, if you see in the bottom corner of the speedometer there, you'll see some additional functionality sitting there. Um, enhanced Vehicle mod just gives you a little bit more flexibility over your vehicle. I think the biggest thing for me that it does is allow you to isolate your differentials, uh, switch off four-wheel drive, things like that. So um, in certain situations, you can uh, have a play with that and, uh, and it can enhance your gameplay. But it's a really, really useful mod to have. It also shows the weight of your vehicle as well and the weight of your implement. Uh, so you can see if you've got the right uh, uh, setup going and uh, if, you're gonna, if, it's, if it's gonna cause you any trouble going forward. So a really handy, uh, simple mod that just sits there and just gives you additional information to what the base game does. That is Enhanced Vehicle Mod. The next mod is about as simple as it gets, but also very, very useful. This is called Fill Level Warning for Combines. And what it does, it lets out an audible bleep when the combine hits 50%, uh, and again at 80%, and once again when it gets to full capacity. And it's just a very handy thing to have uh, going on in the background. You hear it ring, um, and it just keeps you on top of your harvesting. Um, just a brilliantly simple idea, but works incredibly well. So here we are on our combine, happily combining away. We're coming up on 50%, so we'll just listen for that alert. There we go. Simple as that, but, but it makes a huge difference in keeping tabs on things and keeping on top of the job. So there you go. Fill level warning for combines. Now the next mod I'm going to talk about is called Follow Me. We've talked about this before in our top seven videos, but just to recap, if you've never um, used it before, Follow Me allows you to connect two tractors together and uh, you drive the lead tractor and wherever you go, the tractor behind will follow. You can add more than one tractor as well. You can have a whole convoy of tractors or vehicles running along roads. Incredibly easy and handy to have uh, if you're setting up a new map and you've got to move lots of vehicles from one place to the other, but also very handy if you're doing, for example, a, a large um, silage project uh, and you need to drive a forage harvester but also need to run a tractor alongside you. So what you can do is press Control F and it gives you the distance ahead uh, and then it's Shift and the WASD keys that you use to drive on a keyboard uh, and you can move forwards and backwards uh, and you can put offset on as well. Um, very handy tool to have. And once you jump in your other tractor at the front, your lead of the convoy, and drive away, the tractor behind will follow. Here he comes. So like I said, very handy if you want to move a lot of machinery around. So there you go, follow me. 
The next mod I want to talk about is Global Company. Again, we've covered this off in our top seven mods, but Global Company is one of those universal mods that I always like to have installed, um, not just because some apps have factories on them and it needs that for that interaction, but also there's some quite nice things like activate extended uh, placeable there. You've got a horse helper there if you don't want to ride your horses every day. Uh, activate cut bales, which is a little bit of functionality, which is very handy. So Global Company's uh, on its own is a nice mod to have just sitting there ready to use. In addition to that, I always ensure that I have got the global company icons installed. I think they're a lot more appealing and a lot more clear, really, compared to the base game mods as to what they are. So um, there you go, global company icons as well, along with global company. Two mods at once there for you. Really, really good. The next mod I want to talk about is Guidance Steering. Now, this needs no introduction. It's probably the mod that I've covered the most in uh, my videos about mods on the channel. Now, Guidance Steering or GPS by Wopster, uh, as far as I'm concerned, is one of the mods uh, that is a real game changer. It, it, it's somewhere, it sits somewhere between course play and auto drive and uh, doing it yourself so it's this kind of semi-automated approach very authentic very real for for farmers these days who work in large fields it basically allows you to point the tractor in the right direction and get perfectly straight clean lines in your field especially handy when you're sowing and plowing um, and, and harvesting it's just a just a perfect mod and it can be utilized across everything um, you just basically buy it as an option in the shop when you're purchasing a new bit of equipment so there we go, we've got a nice case tractor there, uh, and all we need to do is switch on global positioning system. And after that, it will work. I'm not gonna go into details of how it works here. Again, like I said, I've done so many videos on this, so I'll pop one of the links up in the top corner there, and you can go and check it out for yourself. But global positioning system, guidance steering by Wopster is an absolutely fantastic mod. Another really helpful tool that I like to use is called HUD toggle. Um, now you can turn the HUD off, by using easy development commands. Um, it's linked into the flight no HUD mode down here, but it does require you to go into menus uh, and switch things on and off. Um, so uh, I tend to have this installed as well, which allows me to just press Alt and one to switch it on and off direct from the keyboard. So a lot less faff, very helpful when you wanna grab a screenshot or two. So again, another super simple mod, HUD toggle. Another brilliant mod that I swear by and uh, takes a lot of uh, hassle out of the game is my next mod, and that is called Instant Wash. Now, a lot of you may say, if you've watched my channel a lot, that I don't really use this and I don't really care about clean tractors. But sometimes I do, and uh, when I do, this is the mod that I go to, and that is Instant Wash. You uh, just install the mod, and the only thing you need to do is hit the Insert button, and this happens. Absolutely brilliant. Saves you a lot of jet washing. So there you go, instant wash. Another mod that I talk about and swear by religiously is the Lumberjack mod. Basically, and it's an enhanced version of the base game uh, model for uh, cutting trees down. Uh, and it allows you the flexibility to remove stumps without using additional equipment. Uh, it also allows you to toggle on and off super strength as well. So by just holding the alt key down, you can then pick up entire trees if that's what you want to do. Um, but just a really helpful and flexible mod that uh, if you're not really big into lum in lumberjacking and logging, uh, just gives you a little extra helping hand. So lumberjack, always a handy one to have just sitting there for when you need it. Park mod is another mod that we've talked about on other videos that is a very handy mod to have. Now, if you imagine you've got lots and lots of vehicles on your farm, and you don't want to tab through all of them to get to the next vehicle, um, it's very easy to switch them off now. So let's say, for example, we don't want to tab to the combine anymore. We only want to tab between our two tractors. We can remove the combine from that tabbing cycle. And the way to do that is to just press Control T and it locks it off. Now, if I tab through again, in fact, let's remove the lizard pickup as well. Control T and that's gone. And now if we tab, we should just tab between our two tractors. Now, if we want to get back into our combine and make sure we can tab to it again, it's as simple as going to the map, clicking on the combine, entering the vehicle and pressing control tab again. And we can now tab between the three vehicles. So there you go, park vehicle mod.
The Real Dirt and the Real Dirt Fix mods, two together, are a fantastic way of adding just a little bit more of visual enhancement to the game as well. What they do is they they pick up the color of the surroundings you're driving in. So if you're driving in grass, it picks up green. If you're driving in snow or lime, it picks up white. And it just makes things look a lot more realistic. So it's as simple as that. Uh, the Real Dirt color and the Real Dirt Fix mods together are a really nice enhancement to any game. Another one that I really like as well is realistic cab view. Basically what that does is allows the camera to move around a little bit more and move into a more authentic way. So for example, if you're looking behind to look at a piece of machinery, it moves to the side slightly. You can't keep rotating, so you can only go 180 degrees. Um, so it's good from that perspective. And if you hold shift down, you can look over the back of your tractor. You can look out at the side of your tractor check your clearance on things it's just a nice little immersive mod uh, really enjoy this one as well so there you go realistic cab view the next mod we're going to look at today is store deliveries i've talked about this before in some of my other videos but this really is a massive time saver especially when you're setting up a map at the start of a game but equally if you just want the convenience of having your vehicles delivered to your farm not particularly unrealistic you know if you buy a tractor in real life it's very often the dealership will drop it off at the farm so it, it can be made quite a believable uh, part of your gameplay and the way this works uh, if you press down the shift and alt button it brings up this circle which you can place anywhere and then if you press the S button you'll hear a little noise and then after that you just need to go in purchase a vehicle you hear that little noise there and if I go back to my farm rather than it being at the shop it's sitting here in the yard absolutely brilliant mod it does charge a 2.5 percent delivery cost on top of that but the convenience I think is worth it so there you go store deliveries the next mod is one I've uh, used for a long time now and it's an incredibly useful mod in terms of reducing the amount of bales you've got on your field. So for example, here we go, we're just about to drop off a bale here. So if you look in the menu now, uh, our current bale capacity, that bale we've just released there was 4,000 litres. Now you've got the option here to bump that up to 6,000, 8,000, 10,000, 20,000 or also drop it down to 1,500, 2,000 as well so you've got lots of flexibility there um, and what it really does is help basically reduce the number of bales you've got on the field there is a weight advantage it doesn't change the size of the bale the bale looks and behaves exactly the same but the weight does go up but what it does is just help if you've got massive fields and lots of bales that you need to cover off um, it just reduces the amount of workload you may may have when you're wanting to collect them so variable bale mod an excellent excellent mod and as you can see now we moved it up to 8,000 there and if you see in the bottom corner down by the speedometer now we're at 5,000 coming up to 6,000 litres capacity so um, a very simple mod to use just hitting the letter K on your keyboard uh, will adjust the size of the bales um, we'll get this one unloaded now and I'll show you uh, that it doesn't change the size of the bale like I said but it does change the capacity of it so if i look over there there you fill type 8000 liters um so half as many bales on the field if you double the size of the bale so there you go a very handy mod to have okay our penultimate mod today is going to be workshop tabber this is a brilliant brilliant mod now we all know when you've got a, a vehicle that needs repairing this massy on zero here and the plow on zero as well when you run them over to the workshop if you don't have workshop tabra installed you have to unhitch the plow drive the tractor out of the way rehitch the plow move it out of the way unhitch again bring the tractor in very frustrating well the brilliant thing about workshop tapper is you now just need to tap through the two vehicles and you can repair them both at once so there you go tractor fixed plow fixed and you're back on your way so um, brilliant, brilliant mod, such a helpful tool. Um, I really enjoy this one. Always have this one installed. Unless I'm on Bulls Gap and I forget every week. But there we go, Workshop Tabber. Now our final mod for this video is going to be variable spray usage. Now this is identical almost to the way that the variable bale size works. Um, 
and what it does is helps you reduce the amount of fertilizer that you need to apply to a field. Now we all know, especially with lime, that uh, it can be quite tedious refilling uh, your lime all the time. Now what this does is allow, allows you to increase or decrease your spray rate. Now this is done using the M and the K keys. K increases the spray rate and if you see in the bottom corner now by the speedometer it's ticking down quite quickly at 95 percent and it's running down quite quickly 94 percent. Now if I press M I can bring that spray rate right down and you can see how slowly the number is ticking down now compared to before. Um, it basically means that you can uh, just manage the amount of product that you're putting on the field. Um, obviously if you're using precision farming um, there is no requirement for this but, but not everybody uses um, precision farming all the time so this is a great opportunity to uh, just manage the amount of uh, product you end up having to buy in the shops um, I find it incredibly useful when I'm liming less so with with liquid and uh, dry fertilizer but certainly with liming it's a it's a hugely beneficial mod to have in your folder so there you have it folks, those are my essential mods that I will install in every single new game I start before I do anything else. Um, they are critical for me for enjoying the game and give me the flexibility while I'm playing to uh, get the most out of the game. Now I do use a mod called PV Tools to manage my mod folder, so that gives me the option to al allow me to copy those 25 mods into a folder straight away before I start a game. Um, so. PV tools is well worth checking out as well. I'm going to cover that off in a different vi uh, video because, uh, to be honest, there's a little bit around that that just would make this video too long. But I will come back with a PV mod uh, video very, very soon. Of course, on top of that, I want to add in that if you're playing specific types of gameplay, there are obviously loads of other mods to add as well. Firewood seasons, better contracts, precision farming, uh, unit convert light, buy used equipment, maze plus, all the maze plus mods, straw me things like that as well. So the, this isn't the essential list. This is my base game. Start every map with these mods list. So I hope you enjoyed that. I'll list them at the end here. I'll, I'll put links to them in the description below as well. Uh, but for now, from me, the Farm Sim Guy, thank you very, very much for watching. I hope that was helpful and I will see you all again very soon. Bye for now.